Hello there. On this International Women's Day, we are talking about the contribution of women in Indian cinema. We talked about how Salunke was the first uh, film heroine of Indian cinema. Then we talked about uh, the contribution of Fatima Begum. Then we talked about uh, what why Jillobai is important and I was talking about uh, I, I talked about Miss Gohar also and then I was talking about Sulochna or Ruby Meyer and I said that she was of foreign or origin. Now when we talk about Sulochna or Ruby Meyer, now Ruby Meyer or Sulochna, the ravishing and the highest paid actress of her time is indeed a great case study when we you know get to know how an actor rise and fall happened because there was a technological shift in the filmmaking business. She should have the, you know, part of one of the most important, she, 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 she could have been the part of one of the most important milestone which she missed. Now, among, you know, when we talk about uh, Ruby Meyer or Solochna, we are talking about films like Typist Girl, you know, the title that it is a woman-oriented film, Ty Typist Girl, uh, Balidan, Wildcat of Bombay, Madhuri, Anarkali and Indira B.A. These are some of her films which were blockbuster uh, by the standard of that time. Now, the thing that I was talking about, what she missed, she missed to be the part of Alamara. Now, Ardeshi Ridani, Sulochna, like if you look at her, she is beautiful, ravishing, she is glamorous. Ardeshi Irani wanted her to be the heroine in Alamara. But the problem was, she was not able to speak Hindustani Zaban. Now, that was the biggest problem because of which she was dropped and Zubeda was taken. That is what I, I was talking about. Now, obviously, you are doing something. Imagine 1931, you are releasing Alamara and your actress is not convincing when she is speaking Hindustani Zaban. Now, that's why she was dropped. She was so heartbroken. She was one of the highest paid actress of her time. She was respected. Everything, everything was going fine. But she could not be the part of the history. After this incident, she was so heartbroken that she... At least she took a break. I would not say that she dropped. She took a break. She learned the language, come back. And the films that Madhuri or Anarkali or Indira B.A., you know, uh, all these films which she made in silent era, she made all those films in talkies also. But she could not be the part of, of you know, Milestone. Now, it is not only about, uh, you know, Sulochna, you know, Ruby Meyer, it happened with, with almost all those actors, all those directors, all those technicians, those who could not swift, you, you know, if you do not accept, you cannot swift, swiftly cross over from silent era to talkies. And Ruby Meyer is just one example. There were a lot of directors, like a lot of reputed directors who who said that we will not be making um, uh, talkies at all because that will kill the sensibility which we have uh, which we have gathered which we have developed over last 20 20 years there were a lot of people those who denied that we will not be becoming part of talkies but eventually because that becomes uh, the norm of of that time and even today also so you have to adopt if you don't you are out of the system now I was talking about Zubeda that she, she became the part of uh, Alamara. Now, this actress who is actually the daughter of uh, first female producer and director and writer uh, Fatima Begum, Zubeda along with her sister Sultana, I, I, as I said that I, I will not be talking about Sultana, I will be focusing on Zubeda and Shahzadi, you know, achieve the status. By the way, these three sisters they were superstars in in of of their time and you know they achieved the status of many actresses of her time you know uh, wish to achieve uh, though she was the f though she was not the first choice as i said for alamara but actually because she was like able to sp deliver dialogue she was very comfortable with zaban and she was talented also so eventually she became the part of alamara now 
she was the style icon of her age every wannabe actress i don't want to name them otherwise it will be very shocking for you every wannabe any actress which you you know know in 50s you know they used to go to zubeda and you you know ask for the tips and things like that she was the perfect role role model for many generations to come now in 1934 she set up mahalakshmi movie tone and had fair share of box office success as a producer also um, the in, the height of, of her popularity in 1925 zubeda was able to, you you know she was the part of nine films or and she, again she was part of uh, bulbule parisna also laila majnu also and alamara as you know it now now devika rani let's talk about devika rani this beautiful lady is called the first lady of indian cinema now no discussion on uh, you, you, you know if i call them i'm i'm calling them super woman you know fatima begum You, you cannot have a discussion without her and devika rani if you do not talk about devika rani and her contribution in indian cinema we are not talking about women at all now why the devika rani uh, you know devika rani is referred often referred as the first lady of indian cinema she made her film debut in in hindi film called karma which was released in 1933 she is known for naturalistic acting style and her ability to convey a range of emotions through her performance she not only you know helped her husband himanshu roy uh, himanshu roy was her husband uh, the best studio uh, of that time she helped her husband to establish the best studio of that time which is called bombay talkies anybody who who is aware of 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 the history of indian cinema they know what kind of films bombay talkies made and not only she helped establish himanshu roy bombay talkies after the demise of himanshu roy she actually led that um, um, studio called bombay talkies i mean i do not want to get into other details also but she she is called the iron lady on set you know so we will not get into that uh, the you know when you look at himanshu roy and devika rani there are a lot of films like uh, like karma jawani ki hawa achhut kanya which is like one perfect example of early films which were women centric you know a lot of people even make a case study out of it how achhut kanya uh, is one of the first uh, female centric film which is about uh, a boy and a girl the girl is from upper upper caste and the so sorry the boy is from upper caste and the girl is from untouchable community then jeevan nayya i mean if i start putting names many many so i have picked up only those name which are like many some people know so when you talk about himanshu roy and devika rani not only she is actress but a producer also not only producer producer she is a wonderful manager also so the couple you know work closely in the film industry himanshu roy and devika rani and they are remembered as one of the most iconic partnership please understand it's not only husband wife they are iconic partnership people remember them for their iconic partnership in the history of indian cinema she acted and produced several films all together now the next person is my personal favorite and i'll tell you why she is my personal favorite called fearless nadia her real name is marianne marianne evans now uh, if i say fearless nadia it means hunter wali now Now let's talk about Fearless Nadia whose real name was Mary Ann Evans was a legendary Indian actress and stunt woman who made significant contribution to the early Indian film industry she was one of the first female you know action star in Indian cinema and became famous for her fearless stunts and you know and and daring performances she appeared in more than 50 films during her career including hunter wali now why i'm saying hunter wali if you're talking about fearless nadia it means you are talking about hunter wali she is also known as hunter wali then you have diamond queen then you have miss frontier mail among many other uh, other films now nadia was uh, one of the first female action star you know all all these people that i have talked about they have been projected as docile very you know as as if they they have suffered a lot you know there is an expected um, image from them 
and uh, you know there is a difference when when we talk about the contribution of women in indian cinema uh, people talk about the male gaze people talk about uh, you know uh, the 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 social norms because of which people uh, women were not able to participate or or they are exploited on screen their skin is being shown they are taken as in product i could also have taken that route but i have decided to talk about not what we see women on screen but those strong women those who have you know not only governed the screen but directed the screen also now now nadia nadia is uh, uh, like every la- every every lady that i talked about you know they are superstar in their own right they are not just conf- they have not confined themselves in one designated role they have gone beyond that beyond their personal capacity so that's why i call them super women i mean it's i mean i'm not diminishing anyone but it is easy to talk about um, uh, you know uh, nargis or madhubala or bejanti mala or or other actresses but they are actresses these are basically the role model of those actresses now um, uh, fearless nadia or nadia was one of the first female action star in indian cinema and became famous for her fearless stunt and daring performances she appeared in over as i said 50 films her iconic role as hunter wali a mask vigilante don't think you know, you know batman was the only mask vigilante we have our own mask vigilante who who fights against injustice made her household name and she became a symbol of female empowerment you know we we talk about you no know, today's actresses are bold no visit all these characters visit all these individuals visit all these personalities visit all these ladies you will understand i mean in some sense we have regressed we have not progressed like you have your own uh, stunt woman and and own stunt woman it does not mean that she is using a body double she used to do at her own you know riding horses driving cars and even flying planes and i'm talking about you know um, uh, you know 1940s or i am talking about 1935 i'm talking about 1936 think uh, think of that that time think of that time when she is riding uh, horse driving cars she's playing with lions also and i've seen i i i i i saw some film where fearless nadia has acted there is a very wonderful scene that in the climax um, uh, you know uh, the 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 villain comes and you know does something she fights with him and he runs away in a car she also takes a car i think car or a horse then she jumps from that horse to in the car and be this guy <laughs> blue black and blue so th- now imagine you are doing that in 1940s so that is something her contribution to indian cinema goes beyond the role of an actress and stunt woman she broke the mold of what a typical indian actress you know this is the entire debate the typical indian actress should look like you know and challenge society uh, she she challenged societal norms with her unconventional appearance and behavior now uh you know there is so much to talk about um, like there are many interesting personalities like i can talk about the contribution of uh, saravati uh, rajamani saravati rajamani was uh, you know director from south i can i i, I should have talked about jaddan bai i should have talked about durga khote billo gulab durga rani leela devi miss mary uh, miss moti miss jena miss uh yagbal i should have talked about soni or charubela or i should have talked about charubai also uh nanubai also sonabai also anwar bai or i should have talked about ratna bai i should have talked about sakina sult sultana sunita devi i should have talked about savita tara tara bai i should have talked about kusma kumari i should have talked about uh putli uh sharifa sushila jamuna sita devi now you 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 must be wondering that sushila sunita devi what i am talking about uh, like if if i give you an example sita devi uh, her real name was uh, 
Rene Smith. Uh, Patience Cooper, because I said like Solochna, a lot of very other, you know, a lot of Anglo origin women were initially participating as a heroine in our films, like Lena Valentine, uh, Dorothy, and many, many more. I should have talked about these things, but I picked only a few. Now, let's talk about, uh, um, uh, as you can see on your screen, Let's talk about prominent directors after, you know, we started making talkies. Now, if you're talking about women, uh, women contribution in Indian film, and you're not talking about Sai Paranjpe, we are not talking about contribution of Indian women in, 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 in cinema. Now, Sparsh, she made Sparsh. If ever you get a chance, please watch these films like Sparsh, Chashme Badur, Katha, Disha, like 1980, 81, 82, 1990. You know, she was, she started with All India Radio. She then became part of Doordarshan. Then she, be, I, I, she was made the, the, the director of uh, Central Board of uh, Children, Children Film Society. And she won uh, an award in uh, Tehran. And uh, she started writing plays and everything. And when you see these, I mean, in now you have uh, the remake of Chashme Badur and Khubsurat and all, uh, Khubsurat is Rishikesh Mukherjee, I'm, I'm sure. Now, Sai, Sai Paranjpai is one of the prominent directors when we are talking about in uh, uh, the role of Indian women in cinema. Then Meera Nair, who can forget uh, her contribution, Salam Bombay was an official entry for Oscar. Monsoon Wedding, I think it was released in 2000 or 2001. Uh, then you have Namesake and recently, I think 2016 was this Queen of uh, Katwe. Then you have Deepa Mehta, you know, the tr fire, earth, uh, water. Uh, Midnight Children, you have Zoya Akhtar, you have Zindagi Na Milegi Dobara, Gali Boy, Dil Dhadakne Do, Luck By Chance, you have Arpana Sen, um, uh, Aparna Sen, sorry, 36 Chorangi Lane, uh, Paroma, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Ayer. It's such a beautiful film, Mr. and Mrs. Ayer, because this was shown to us in our entrance exam. I, I, I remember, so we, we, we were there to write. Um, uh, we were expected to critically evaluate this film, Mr. and Mrs. Ayer. Then you have Japanese Wife, beautiful film. Then you have Gauri Shinde, uh, English, English and Dear Zindagi. Then you have Nandita Das for Firak and Manto. Manto is both the films are brilliant films. Then you have uh, Meghna Gulzar, uh, Talwar, Razi, Chapak, and all these films. Kiran Roy, you have Dhobi Ghat, you have Lena Yadav, Pasht, and Rajma Chawal. You have, uh, oh, I've written Gauri Shinda again. You have uh, Alankrita Srivastav, she's my senior, interestingly. Lipstick Under My Burkha and Dolly Kitty, or Wo. Now, when you talk about uh, prominent film producers, you cannot start uh, without uh, Gunit Monga, again, senior of mine. She is a film producer who is uh, known to produce uh, officially acclaimed films like The Lunchbox, Masan, Gang of Vasipur. She also won an Academy Award for her film. Uh, for her documentary film called She Has Won an Academy Award. Very, very few people know it. Uh, for her documentary film, uh, she was a producer. Please understand, I'm talking in the capacity of producer, which was basically the name of the documentary was period, end of sentence, in best documentary short subject category. Uh, she has won. Ekta Kapoor, everybody knows, it, knows her because we are talking about the role uh, and the contribution of women. So you cannot do away Ekta Kapoor also. So films uh, like The Dirty Picture, Veera the Wedding and Balaji Telefilms in, uh, you know, serial industry. She, I think, um, one of the biggest name in television industry. Then you have Reha Kapoor. Reha Kapoor is a film producer who has produced Aisha, Khub Surat, Veera the Wedding. And, you know, she is also a fashion stylist and has designed costume for several Bollywood films. Then you have... Uh, Preeti Sahani, 
Preeti Sahani is the president of Jungli Film. She is the film producer. She is a, f uh, I mean, Jungli is a film producing company owned by Walt Disney Company now. She has produced films like Talwar, Bareli Ki Burfi and Razi. Then you have Anushka Sharma. Now, I have put Anushka Sharma because I wanted to put other actresses also. Now, they are actually moving, not only they want to act in the film, now they want to produce also. So, NH10 and... Uh, uh, all 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 these films is like Pari, uh, all these things have been produced. Now when you talk about the prominent film editors, you have uh, Renu Saluja who has edited Parinda, uh, Dharavi, Ad Satya and Bandit Queen. You have uh, Deepa Bhatia, Tare Zamipe, Stanley Kadabba, Kai Poche, Gali Boy, then you have Namrata Roy for Kahani, uh, Band Baja Bharat, Dam Laga Ke Haisha and Love Aajkal. Aarti Bajaj for Pashd and Black Friday, Dave D and Urta Punjab and Bela Sehgal, I must say the pioneer, you know. Uh, uh, you, if I tell you that she is the sister of Sanjay Leela Bhansali, then you will understand. So that's why all these films, but she is a brilliant editor, brilliant editor. Um, uh, Khamoshi, the musical, Ham Dil De Chuke Sanam, Dev Das, Black, Savariya uh, and all, all these films. Now, when we are talking about the role of uh, women in India, let us talk about the film which have, uh, you know, which have uh, highlighted uh, or, they, or, or, or if they are called women-centric film of Indian cinema. Achut Kanya, I, I talked about uh, that I, when I was talking about, um, when I was talking about Devika Rani, when I was talking about Devika Rani, so I talked about this film. Then Amar Jyoti was directed by V. Shantaram. Now, all these films that I am going to read are women-centric film. Now, you can read, uh, as, as you can see it on screen, women-centric means what? Now, this is very important to understand. Now, if everything is all right, then there is no, no topic called women-centric film. Now, you, never, you have never heard of a term called male-centric film. Now, uh, so, it means when you say women-centric film, it means that everything is not at the right place. It means their, 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 their representation is not as it should have been. So, uh, why I have not picked up other films, why I have picked up these films also. So, one of the reasons to picking up these films is because the as it should have been, you know, uh, as the representation should have been, there was no proper representation or there was no proportional representation. Now, when you look at a, like suppose, when you look at a, any normal film, like forget that it's a brilliant film or things like that, male protagonist has got more screen as compared to female protagonist. Now, when we are talking about women-centric films, it directly means that the actress has got more space or her role is of 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 high importance you know uh, that without her the story will not move even an inch forward so when you talk about women uh, women centric film it means that uh, the film is directly addressing some specific issue related to women now earth will have a different issue Whereas Bhumika or Mili or Ankur or Aradhana or Bandini or Devi, Devi was directed by uh, Satyajit Ray, will, ha will be addressing issues related to women in a very specific manner where her identity, where her persona is the key factor. So, where her identity is, is, is key factor, where her persona is everything, those are called women-centric film. Historically, they have not been, the, the, I mean, women centric films have not been much. Whereas they constitute half of the population and their representation is not half. Now, if you look at other slide which is called Bazaar, again a beautiful film made by uh, Sagar Sarhadi Mirch Masala, one of my favorite films when I saw it on Doordarshan, I was like very, very surprised. I, uh, Nashuddin Shah and Simita Patil, Om Puri. Darban bane hai wo usme aur shandar matlab it's beautiful film then you have Arth Mahesh Bhatt then you have Damini Damini I think you have many of you have seen Darmiya then you have Fire then you have Khamoshi Lajja now it's it's easy to talk about 
um, that um, these are very few films and there is no equal representation but but understanding why why there is not not such a proper representation is far more important when you talk about cinema you know this is what i have been thinking about this is what i was talking to one of my friends also that when you say marginalized community or when you say that the the representation is not proper or you know or you say that representation we are talking about women's day on women's day we are talking about women uh, maybe on some other time we can talk about the representation of minorities in indian cinema we can talk about the the representation of other other gender in indian cinema so when you are talking about these things and you know there are two possibilities when you have films like these either one the the producer and the director was mad enough to you know fight with everyone and put up this or you see business in this and you see are ye kuch hatke hai it will create business like uh, uh, chandni bar door fashion black queen panga thappad uh, shakuntala devi which was released in 2020 you have the great kitchen and you have saina you have pink i mean there are so many films that i could not have eventually uh, taken up all them pink uh, tumhari sulu mardani neerja and all these things now when you talk about ott there again ott is also coming up with lot of things like four more shots please made in heaven delhi crime mom which is mission over mars uh, bhag beni bhag a uh, beautiful i mean i i should recommend uh, 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 the, the 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 female character wants to be a stand up comedy and and then the entire thing start the test case the bombay begums oh, must see it then uh, dolly kitty or wo chamakte sitare arya masaba masaba she so um <laughs> that is like i have tried i if you say that i have not i have left lot of people i i i happen to know that but i mean this much i could squeeze in this lecture and i hope that you must have enjoyed it and you must have learned something and something uh, interesting it must have been a something interesting journey thank you very much